In this game, we played at a 2100 level. Two great moves and a brilliancy. Opening with the king. This is the standard opening. This prepares the plays. It's important to get your passive. This prepares the bishop for development. You overlooked. This overlook. overlook. You this prepares the bishop. You overlooked an opportunity to centralize a knight. This That's prepares the bishop for development. Usually it's d5, e1. Uh, Alright, well, I watched Gotham's course and he likes. But we give up the square right here, but look. Should we. We go there. We take. I don't know what would have been better. Just h4, yeah. A lot of times this happens. And I like this sometimes. This works good. So here's what, here's a surprisingly a uh, lot of robust play. He protects the pawn. It's hard for us to know what to do. He's push, you push, and he steals a pawn. So we we just go after the king. All we're doing is going after the king here. What was better than? I just like jumping into the uh, into the middle. He goes. Hmm. Knight takes e5 is interesting. Get two pawns for the piece. C5 pins the knight, but we don't care. Queen H5, a sacrifice. We sacrifice the knight. Oops. Personally, it's like the best move. If he goes here, we just made him. So he's he's got to do something quick. And boy, does he do something quick. Best move. Your best move. Wow, we're up. Look, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And we're up four points here. Because of our pawns. His best move is f5. Losing the queen. This, this would be he's setting up a barricade whatever let's see so we go back to queen h5 he goes here he goes we go here he pushes that but you know we're already down a piece why not go down two pieces with the sack of the bishop brilliancy Brilliancy. Boom. Brilliancy. But can we finish him off? We only have 50 seconds left in the game. He has over 7 minutes. I didn't notice that until 5 seconds. And I, I, I notice that 5 seconds, so I just go for it. Because I have a pawn here. I see that. The bishop can come here, and he's trapped on these two back ones. There's no escape. He, we did not let him move this pawn. These two wall him in. It's it's just a beautiful wall. Three pieces, like right here. Three pieces attacking the king. He can't. The rook can't help. Can't help. Can't help. He helps us. Can't help much. Can't. Can't. These are the only two pieces he can actually get in line to do something, but he's under check. Has to take. Oh, he doesn't have to, but that's checkmate. So he has to take. And he has to go back, and then that's checkmate. And our brilliancy. He didn't even take the bishop. The bishop survived. The brilliant bishop survived. The other bishop bit the dust. 
we had to sacrifice something. We ended up with just four pieces, one which we didn't even use. And he had six pieces. But this pawn is so diabolically evil. Strong, strong pawn. We pushed that pawn all the way up into his face. Look at the look at the squares the pawn covers. Covered this bishop. Mm. Led to his downfall. Would we get again a twenty one hundred? Yeah. He got like a weird he got two like weird strange openings he didn't like. Questionable. Questionable. And then we got an okay. That's weird, 85.1 and we get a question mark yellow. Here we get an 82.5 but we get, a, we get a thumbs up green. But we get the all important brilliancy right here. What a bold sacrifice of your bishop. A we brilliant a tactical C. idea. Nice, you found a way to win a queen? Brilliant. Just brilliant. I love getting those brilliant Checkmate is always the best move. There we go. And that was our late night game.